Hello everybody, Swami Nandiyan. Today we are going to see standard procurement process in SAP. So what is standard pro procurement process? I'm going to create a purchase order and I'm going to goods reserve and I'm going to check the inventory MMBE and finally MIRO, I'm going to do invoice verification. Purchase order ME21M. Here it is goods reserve. We go goods reserve and MMBE inventory check. Inventory check. And MIRO invoice verification. Invoice verification. Verification. And I'm going to do in the meanwhile, I'm going to create a supplier also in BP transaction. Okay, let's go to BP transaction code. I'm going to create a vendor. BP person new. I'm going to select Z vendor, Z triple six, grouping and business partner. But if you want to know how to create this, I, a link has been provided in the description. Check the link. Now Enter the first name, last name, language, and search. I'm going to search it with the MA03 plant itself. So that, that is the reason I'm giving MA03. And finally, I'm going to give religion. And let me save this. Control S, save. And enter country. And let me save this. Let's just save this. Click onto this. Display change. Select. My DP role is Z vendor L2W. That's my DP role. Now go to company code data. Click on to company code data. Enter reconciliation account. Select the reconciliation account here. Reconciliation. Before that, we have to change the company code. Company code. Let me delete this company. This is not my company code. Let me delete this. Let me delete this. Yes, my company code is GB10. It's my company code. Adapt. And select reconciliation. Let me select the reconciliation account here. And let me save this. And then I'm going to save this. Control S save. Enter correspondence language. Go to company code. And let me save this. Click onto this save button to save it. Now I'm going to take the supplier number. This is my supplier. My supplier. This is my supplier number. Go to purchasing. MA01 is my purchase organization. And enter order currency USD. And let me save this. And save this. Now let's go to. I'm going to create purchase order. Slash it. Let me come up. ME21 yen. ME21 yen. Let me enter supplier number here. This is my supplier number. Enter purchase organization. Enter purchasing group. 001 is my purchasing group. And the material is 50019. And quantity 10 quantity. My price is 1500 USD. Let me change MA03 is my plant and storage location. MA03. It's my storage location. Now let me enter the price here. 1100 rupees. 1100 USD. And let me save this. Order confirmation with the vendor. Purchase order is order confirmation with the vendor. This is my purchase order number. Let me take this purchase order number. And I will do goods reserved. GR. GR. Go to slash in MIGO. It's my goods reserved. Enter purchase order number here. Goods reserve, purchase order, press enter. Scroll down. Item OK and post. post. It, meanwhile, I'm going to check MMB. Go to MMB. Transaction code MMB. It's my transaction code for checking the inventory. Inventory check, execute. 10, 10 would have been added. Already 10 was there. Now 10, another 10 more has been added into this inventory. See here, unrestricted use. Now, vendor is being given invoice and I'm going to post it in SAP system. This means that vendor has supplied the raw material. We are just getting the raw material, putting it at the storage location and posting it in SAP system. Finally, as given the invoice, I'm going to post it in SAP system. MIR, transaction code, a slash in MIR. Slash it, MIR. It's my transaction.
enter today's date. Make it a point that you have selected purchase order scheduling agreement. Enter purchase order number here. Calculate tax. Click on the calculate tax. This is the amount. 12,950 is my amount. 12,980. 980. Press enter. Enter baseline date upon which we have to pay the vendor. And post it. This is the standard process of SAP. SAP procurement standard process. Thank you.